So have you ever seen MAH on your phone or your power bank and thought, what does that even mean? And why do some batteries last like forever and others die in like an hour? <laughs> well, today I'm breaking down what MAH really means and why it matters when you're looking at something small like your phone or something way bigger like River 3 Plus. So let's get into it. So to begin, MAH stands for milliamp hour. Fancy word, I know, but all it really tells you is how much juice your battery can hold and how long it can power your devices before dying on you. This unit measures the battery's storage capacity. Think of it like a fuel tank in a car. The larger the tank, or milliamp hours, the more fuel, or electric charge, it can store. So basically, the higher the milliamp hours, the longer your battery lasts before needing a recharge. Assuming the voltage stays the same, of course. So whether it's your phone, a speaker, or laptop, knowing the milliamp hours tells you what to expect. Now, before you go out and buy the device with the biggest milliamp hour number, remember how you use it matters as well. Are you watching Netflix all day, gaming? Yeah, your battery's gonna drain a little faster no matter the size because you're consuming more power. And don't forget things like screen size, processors, and even temperature and cold weather can drain your batteries faster. And yeah, also don't leave them charging forever that's not great for their battery health or lifespan either. So now that we have a baseline, let's dive into how we calculate all of this with a simple equation. Remember the energy capacity we mentioned? Here it is in action. Let's apply this to our River 3 Plus. With a big capacity and voltage, it translates into a significant watt hour value, which means it has the ability to power larger devices for longer periods. This equation is not just numbers, it translates into a real world power. So whether you're charging a phone or running a coffee maker, Understanding this helps you plan better and use your power wisely. Now that we know River 3 Plus has an energy capacity of 286 watt hours, let's figure out how many times we can charge an iPhone 15 with it. After doing some technical math and conversions, on average, you can charge an iPhone 15 about 19 times, zero to 100, from a fully charged River 3 Plus. So if you're camping, working remotely, or the power goes out at home, this thing can keep everything running smoothly. Way more than just a phone charge, we're talking kettles, laptops, you name it. All right, so a quick recap. Milliamp hours measures the battery's storage capacity, and a higher milliamp hour equals longer usage, assuming the voltage stays the same. But usage, temperature, and device type affect how fast that energy runs out. And if you need serious power, River 3 Plus or our Delta series will have you covered. So if you're interested in learning about River 3 Plus or about more of our products, click the link below. And hey, if you like this breakdown, hit that like button, subscribe, and drop any questions in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you in the next one.